Konnichiwa, hello and welcome to my channel. I would like to introduce you to today's very special guests. We have my mum and dad. <laughs> Konnichiwa. My parents have been staying with us for a month or thereabouts and today they're going to be giving their experiences, their stories, having experienced Japan firsthand. We've done lots of really fun things, exploring Japanese culture and experiencing them like themselves. So please do enjoy this video, remember to give them a thumbs up and let's begin the interview. <laughs> let's start with where you came from and yeah, maybe some sort of like initial impressions of Japan. Is it your first time here and things like that? Well, I grew up in Chile. I was born in Chile. And uh, we have a completely different culture to the Japanese culture. And uh, it's here in Japan I discover how wonderful the country is, how peaceful, how honest, how clean. And everything falls into, into order. Right? Into order where they inform you continuously where you are, what to do, what not to do. And it's uh, really reassuring. Uh, it makes life a lot easier. And I thoroughly enjoy it. I have enjoyed the, the different type of food, which all of them, they've been an excellent, uh, well prepared and well maintained. I never found a piece of fish uh, stale or, or something like that. Uh, I visit different places and I travel a lot and it's been absolutely fantastic. There is one little thing I would like to comment about. When I went into the taxi the other day, I sat at the back and there was a screen on the back of the, of the taxi driver. And I thought, how wonderful, the screen is informing me whatever is going on. And I thought, wonderful. And I was thinking that when I was meditating in the little room and I uh, was in the bathroom and I thought, what a wonderful thing, Japan informed you completely about everything. So, I pressed the, some of the buttons that you got on the side of your toilet and I thoroughly will recommend to the uh, Japanese authority to put in front of your toilet a screen which says, beware, you will be intruded. Because when the, that jet of water comes and attacks you, it's very personal. And I was thoroughly surprised. <laughs> so I would strongly recommend that to the authorities in, in Japan. Apart from that, no further complaints. <laughs> okay, so apart from uh, get, having to get used to the Japanese toilet, everything is sounds pretty good. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> All right, how about you? We've had a fantastic time. We've been to the beach and swum in the lovely sea, which is several degrees warmer than in the UK. And we've been to Hakone and went up, we went for a cruise on the lake, which was absolute bliss because it was a nice sort of breeze on the lake and it wasn't too hot. And it was just, just lovely. Yeah. It's beautiful, beautiful scenery. We went to an onsen, which was amazing. And I had some fantastic food. Lovely, good. Um, I'd like to ask, how do you feel that the people or the manners of people in Japan differ to those in the UK or in Chile? Well, uh, in here they are very accommodating. They always help you to give you an answer and as very shamefully I don't speak Japanese so whenever I ask something they respond me in the best possible manner with tremendous amount of help yes all oh, very very lovely and, and polite and um, even though if their English isn't very fluent and my Japanese is zero we still manage to understand each other yeah? yeah lovely so whilst my parents were here we really wanted them to experience some really quintessentially Japanese stuff and my dad is a massive foodie so we made sure that he tried as many dishes as possible um, do you remember some of the things that you tried 
Um, I remember many of them, and I still got room for more. Okay. <laughs> well, this is actually my dad's last day, so we have come to Asakusa, and clearly we all dressed in yukata. Um, is it your first time in yukata? Well, no. We, at, the, at your wedding, we wore kimono. Yeah, yeah. And that was very restricting, <laughs> but it was absolutely lovely, and I felt very very gorgeous in it. Mm. The Yucat is a little bit different, a little bit fresher, a little bit less restricting and very nice. Yeah. I'm enjoying wearing it. Good. Um, actually, I will say that my parents are in Japan whilst it's really, really hot and in neither Chile nor in the UK we have this kind of humidity. So I think it was a big shock to their system. Um, how is the heat? How are you dealing with Japanese summer? Uh, in the shade, really, in the shade and air conditioning, <laughs> which is, is easy enough to find. <laughs> and, you know, you've both really embraced Japanese culture. I'm really impressed. You know, my dad ate sazai. How is it? And my mum's loving sashimi and sushi. It's really nice that you guys can both embrace uh, Japanese culture. And I'd like to talk about a ryokan because we went with my parents to a ryokan and uh, I think the ryokan style is very different to going to a Western hotel. So could you tell me a bit about like your first impressions and how that was? Well, I have to be grateful that it was a, a very pleasant arrival. Yeah, there was a, a free drinks something that it, it's always making me make me feel welcome <laughs> after that we enjoy a fantastic dinner with different dishes and flavors and um, I loved it I absolutely loved it thank you thank you very much for taking us there and uh, we are never going to forget the experience oh it was lovely and the thing I loved the best on arrival was that lovely Oshiburi with lavender. It was so refreshing and lovely. And as you say, you can help yourself to drinks and you can sit in the lounge area and chat and enjoy yourself. And then dinner was superb and the beautiful plates it was served on as well. And the breakfast with those beautiful parquetry boxes. <laughs> Bento boxes, oh, they? yes. They, that was amazing, amazing, astonishing. <laughs> like, yeah, in the West, of course, we have hot baths, but what do you think is the difference between the onsen and just having a hot bath? Like, how did you feel after the onsen? Very, very hot water, I have very to say. <laughs> I loved it because you could just be there in your nothings and just enjoy the, the, the mineral water and uh, you know when you come out your skin is so soft yeah. and you sleep so well afterwards. <laughs> I'm so glad that you enjoyed the Ryokan experience. It was amazing, absolutely wonderful. Good. I'd recommend it to anyone. Yeah. Okay. Is there anything that you didn't like so much, apart from the shock of the <laughs> incomprehensible buttons <laughs> on the toilet? Was there anything that kind of surprised you in Japan or something strange for you? The heat was unexpected yeah. and the humidity, the unrelenting heat. <laughs> every day all night boiling boiling hot i expected in, in september it would be a little bit autum autumnal already so yeah i found that hot yes yeah and in in the uk we don't have aircon so it's you know we're not we're not used to needing it i think so now we understand like it's essential during japanese summer thank god we have it right thank god we have it any restaurant without aircon will not have our customer. <laughs> what I, I feel sorry to about my visit to Japan is my lack of Japanese. Uh, I have to learn and uh, I hope that uh, by having friends who are interested in the Japanese culture, I'll be encouraged to learn a few phrases. Because it's, um, 
it's, it's, it's sad when people are so attentive to you, so grateful to you, and I have I had no words to answer, even to say thank you very much. It's been a pleasure being here. Yeah. So that that that's a limitation. To have a few words in Japanese would have been great. Yeah. Do you think Japan, Japanese is a difficult language to learn compared to you know Spanish, English, French? I'm beginning to learn a few words okay. and phrases, like daijoubu and uh, arigato, and others that I remember and forget. It depends on the moment. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, certainly for us, it's a, it's a difficult language because it's a, it's a cultural language. It's not a, trans, a translation of one language to another. Every symbol means something. Every sign means something. And that is part of the culture that we don't have. With the European languages, there are so many ways that you can learn a word by hanging, by finding similarities with words in your own language. But in Japanese, I can't find similarities with English. So I find the words much harder to remember and also I'm older. <laughs> so the brain isn't quite as sharp. But I keep asking and my patient, patient daughter keeps telling me and eventually I think it will sink in. I hope so. Well, I think it's nice that, you know, you make the effort and you want to speak in Japanese, but I know that feeling of like when you need to say, oh, thank you. And then the moment has passed and then you remember it like 10 seconds late, like, too late like, kind of thing. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I'd like to jump back to the topic of kaiseki. Um, Dad, you put it quite nicely the other day when you talked about not it being one type of food that was nice, but more like the flow. Could you elaborate a bit on that? Definitely. Uh, the way you present the food, it was a flow of flavors, mm. moving from one flavor to another, giving space to enjoy every single one. and. Uh, I didn't order the meal. I didn't say, right, I'll have this, this and that. No, it was presented to me. And in that way, the chef, I suppose, or the person who designed the meal, was very careful on the sequence of flavors. It's a trip, basically it's a trip. So it's a, a very nice experience. Yeah, lovely. Mum, you received a gift yesterday from my father-in-law, my Japanese father-in-law. Um, could you tell me a bit about what you think about ja Japanese fruits? Well, this gift came in a blue, beautiful blue bag and it was inside, it was a white box with a ribbon around it, sealing it. And when I open it, when I opened it, there were the most enormous grapes that I've ever seen. <laughs> They were very juicy. Just an astonishing present because the last thing I thought I'd see in, inside this amazing box was a bunch of grapes. <laughs> yeah, like fruit isn't really so much of a gift in the UK or in Chile. Um, but I think it is if you have a basket and you're in okay. hospital and things like that. Right. But I think because there's so much pride and effort and like genuinity in the process of producing fruit that it's obviously it's a little bit more costly here and and very sweet and delicious so I'm glad that we could enjoy the grapes and I'm glad that you could share them <laughs> thank you it was my pleasure <laughs> good okay any last points on Japan something that springs to mind that you loved or that surprised you anything at all first thing that comes to mind it's a lovely country. Uh, one feels very secure, uh, very welcomed by everybody in every single aspect of the society. And it's a lovely place to visit. Yes, it's lovely to be in Japan, lovely to see you. Just share your life for a few minutes, or a few hours, or a few days, you know. It's been very nice to show you, like, yeah, traditional stuff, like sitting in this izakaya, trying yukata, being a bit touristy but also just seeing our real life it's really I feel so glad yes. that you can be here I know you couldn't be here at the wedding but I feel we've more than made up for it with our adventures in the past few weeks so. it's been a fantastic yeah. Yeah.
All right, so thank you so much for your time and speaking so honestly. Um, thank you everyone for watching today's video. Please do leave your comments in the comment section and until next time, bye-bye. <laughs>